Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video eight, and today we're talking about wave folding. So in the wave table engine here, the fourth box over here, we're gonna find wave folding. We're gonna find the amount and the shape, which is gonna be the very important part. So if you're unfamiliar with wave folding, what's basically happening is before a wave can actually clip too much, it's gonna fold back in on itself. So if that's kind of hard to conceptualize, we have this oscilloscope, which is gonna show the process very, very, very well. So if we hold this down here and we see the sine wave, as we increase this amount knob here, we can see about here is where the peaks are starting to get chopped off. But as we go a little bit further, you can see the waveform start to fold in on itself like that. And about here, it's almost gonna happen again and where the, where the waveforms are gonna be clipped off, but they start to fold in on, on themselves once again. And it just keeps doing that so on and so forth. So that's the concept behind wave folding. So in the manual of pigments, they say there's a little bit of a twist to it. They say a little different than traditional wave folding where a wave is folded back into itself, pigments uses a selectable waveform and folds it downward onto the peaks of the current wave table to create interestingly complex, unique waveforms. So that being said, what's, what's interesting about that is this shape here. So with this amount knob here, it's kind of here, it's kind of doing the traditional shape where it's folding the wave in on itself based upon a sine wave, which is what we see here. However, if we use this triangle looking wave, we can see what happens now. It's much more spiky, it's much more Batman looking than if we went to a sine wave. And we can even see this here in the synth itself, how going on the different shapes, we can see that this imprint of a triangle wave is what's actually folding the wave in on itself. So it's a very kind of interesting concept because it does the folding, but it does it in a different way with a different shape imposing its shape on top of the waveform. And the last one is gonna be number three here, which it has this kind of weird squiggly shape. So as we move the sine wave up here, we can kind of see the shape that is influencing this sine wave. And we can see it in the oscilloscope as well. So it does the same wave folding process, but just with a different shape which is kind of mind blowing if you think about it. And they all sound drastically different. So if we have this one at about 1.1, that's the shape of that one. Back to the first. And this one here, this triangle really has that tri triangular type of sound to it that is imposing itself on a wave fold. Very kind of interesting. So adding some unison to that. Very cool concept. So hopefully that makes somewhat uh, of sense on these different modulation boxes here on the wavetable engine. That's basically this waveform in a nutshell. So hopefully you learned something. If you liked the video, press like, and we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.